Well, hello everybody. Once again, this is Bud. Another day in the 90 day video and written blog challenge. Welcome. We're taking a stroll again, as we did yesterday, down memory lane. Actually, it's only memory lane today because, well, if you remember our walk yesterday, then, well, that's a memory. Uh, it wasn't memory lane before then. But anyway, as you can see, it is... Um, quite a bit different than what it was yesterday it did snow a little bit last night uh, a little bit uh, ongoingly today but um, but it's actually uh, right now slightly above freezing so um, while the sun's not out and it's not feeling as warm as it felt yesterday uh, it's actually not bad at all. As you can see, I'm. Uh, <laughs> this is how I usually roll. Um, 365 days a year, I might throw on shoes for you know if I'm in you know mucky mucky stuff. Um, there was a day on one of these videos where I forget what I was doing. Oh yeah, we're uh, we went and picked up milk at the farm. Well. As you might imagine at a farm <laughs> with um, cows and that sort of thing yeah you probably want to keep your boots on but um, yeah this is the way I like to roll and um, uh, just grown accustomed uh, to um, going unshod I actually prefer prefer going without shoes as much as I can but of course you're living in civilized uh, <clears throat> areas where can't go in stores or restaurants or such things without shoes so I like to carry the sandals and just kick them off when I can kick and and carry them and have them with me anyway uh, we're just walking out to uh, get the mail um, at the end of the drive here and then walking back so it's not like I'm gonna be out here and be exposed for you know extended periods of time and am in danger of frostbite or anything like that but um, since I was going to be out of doors, I thought I'd take you along with me again, and uh, we can have this little chat like we like to have every day. <laughs> well, goes with the territory. Um, the reason I'm here at this property is because uh, the owner of the property, she fell and hurt herself, but, uh, you know, again, being out of doors and uh, being out of doors and uh, just you know things are going to happen that may might not happen every day uh, otherwise and uh, but you know it's worth it's worth the time it's worth uh, the uh, the risk as it were uh, it's not like we're in the middle of nowhere so that if we fell and and broke something that we couldn't get help so. Um, and there's gear that you could put on and uh, frankly it's just uh, easier for me just to walk out like this anyway before we run out of all of our time uh, I want to talk about the topic of the day and that is uh, mentorship uh, we're in a unique um, unique business model that allows for not only allows for training that in any other business model you you'd have to pay substantial uh, substantially for um, and, and not that you can't pay somebody well for their time who's maybe real successful and you want to just you know get all their nuggets and you know that sort of thing you can pay but you know with the network marketing business model um, you know just the person who brought you in um, you know has a vested interest in your success and you know we talked uh, we talked on a previous video of how we don't want to be um, you know babysitters and and that for for one another you just can't do that effectively with more than just a few people if you can do it uh, very effectively at all um, <clears throat> but if you're gonna build any downline of any substance 
um, you're going to have to get your people to um, knowing where all the help pages are, the frequently asked questions, um, and the like. And, um, you know, the best way to get people to be independent like that, uh, as much as is reasonable, is to model that kind of independence. You know, familiarize yourself with the, <clears throat> with the websites that are available, with the tools, um, you know, get to know your way around and be able to direct people where things are so that they become more and more depend independent and in turn they take what they've learned from you being independent learning where all these places are and finding things out for oneself um, they become uh, more independent because um, they're teaching their people to be uh, independent so you know you're not going to be a babysitter for everybody and you don't want all your people to be babysitters but that doesn't mean that you can't spend some time uh, you know helping one another out just in this video blog series uh, I've met um, uh, individual uh, I'm sure I'll meet more who had some some uh, some advice some knowledge some experience some expertise they shared it with me and um, I think uh, I've, I've benefited from that sharing and uh, they happened to get into a situation it was a minor thing but um, it was something that I had uh, figured out uh, but they hadn't um, so I was able to share and reciprocate and so it doesn't have to be a whole big you know expensive uh, mentorship thing but just you know caring and sharing and you know community you know and we have the um, the luxury with you know modern technology to reach out uh, beyond our physical locale and and be a help and 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 be helped too so um you know mentorship it's uh, it's good um when you've got your business built up and you can afford to do so you're not taking money out uh from you know away from duties and responsibilities that you have with your family um, you know, you might want to invest in uh, something more substantial in the way of a mentorship, but really, uh, we can mentor one another uh, along the way in all these uh, small ways that will help us all get there quickly, more quickly than any of us might could do uh, on our own. So there you have it. Um, We'll look to forward to having another conversation with you as early as tomorrow, hopefully, but if not, hopefully sooner than later. But in either case, uh, until then, do take care. I appreciate you and look forward to speaking with you again.